How you doing? Pat here with Pat's Rides. Welcome to another small town tour. We're on our way to Bellevue, Ohio, which is located on US 20, as you can see by the sign right there. So stick around, stay tuned, and let's see what the town has in store for us. Now we are on the eastern edge of Bellevue, not officially in town, but this is one of the coolest things about Bellevue to me, is it is a major hub for the Norfolk and Southern Railroad, so if you're a bit of a railroad buff like I am, this is the place to come. There are just trains everywhere, as you can see here. There's also a little personal history for me here, but we'll get to, we'll get to that a little bit later. But right now, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to do a little train filming here while I'm getting blinded by the low eastern sun. I don't know if you can see the GPS here, but we got a major rail yard up this way. It's called the Mormon Yard for the Norfolk and Southern. You can see the sign there. We'll stay off their property. I'm not sure if that road is public or private. I'm assuming private. Still a little on the outside of Bellevue on State Route 4 heading north. Oh, right Brothers Memorial Highway. Yeah, you got some engines up there. That's kind of different. We're getting ready, as you can see here on the GPS, going over more of the rail yard. You got a major service facility there. Got a bunch of yard facility here. Kind of empty. Well, it's kind of funny when I planned this day earlier this week to do this episode. It was supposed to be simply beautiful. I mean, right now it is, but uh, I've got a chance of rain today, so maybe we'll get wet. I hope not. I don't know if the Bellevue Water Tower will come out on the video or not, but we're on Ohio 269 now, coming in from the north to the south. I will put a uh, map of the town here, so you can see just what the town looks like overall. We're just going to go through this town in kind of a haphazard order, so please bear with me. Just love the history of old towns. The old engine house there, fire department number one. Now the new fire station. Oh hey, now we want to go up here. I will do some voiceovers to really get into the history of notable people later, but uh, as you can see, this used to be part of the Nickel Plate Railroad back in the day. And they have the Mad, what is it called, the Mad River uh, Rail Museum up here? The property of the Mad River Nickel Plate Railroad Museum is sitting on the old residence site of Henry Morrison Flagler. He partnered up with John D. Rockefeller to start Standard Oil. More vintage railway equipment. Something you just don't see anymore is cabooses. I kind of miss them. Even when I was a kid, they still were running limited amounts, and a train just doesn't look right without a good caboose at the end of it. Well, there's not something you get every day. I get to go under the train. Yes, it is approaching Halloween if you're wondering about all the decorations. I know it's going to be a while before this video is posted. But that's the same train we just went under. 
And as you can see here, it's leaving the yards. As we're on 20 heading west, a few notable things about Bellevue before we go into more detail. We got a couple admirals from World War II that hail from here. Uh, a Playboy Playmate of all things. A few people from the Standard Oil days. And uh, the person that threw the first forward pass in football. We'll go into some more detail about that later. And of all things, an Amico station. You just don't see those anymore. Speaking of Standard Oil. Here we're coming into, I guess what you'd call downtown Bellevue and just love these old brick buildings. Just don't make buildings a character anymore. A few notable people that came from Bellevue, Ohio are Admiral John Greenslade was a veteran of the Spanish-American War, the Philippine Insurrection, the Cuban Pacification Campaign, and both World Wars. Admiral Howard Vickery served in World War I and World War II. During World War II, he oversaw all shipbuilding design and construction work for the United States Merchant Marine. Lieutenant Colonel Arthur Gorham was a United States Army officer and paratrooper. He was the first commander of the 1st Battalion, 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment, part of the 82nd Airborne Division. He led the unit from its inception until Operation Husky the July 1943 Allied invasion of Sicily, where unfortunately he was killed in action. Mildred Galars, if I'm saying that right, was nicknamed Axis Sally. She was an American broadcaster employed by Nazi Germany to disseminate propaganda during World War II. Following her capture in post-war Berlin, she became the first woman to be convicted of treason against the United States. She was sentenced to 10 to 30 years imprisonment. Bradbury Robinson threw the first legal forward pass in the history of American football on September 5, 1906 at a game at Carroll College in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Alright, as I get ready to leave town, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Small Town Tours, Bellevue, Ohio. Look it up on a map. From a personal note, what I wanted to share with you is Back in 1995, I built a truck scale in this town, but uh, the granary's gone. So I can't even go visit that. It was right down that way, but it's gone now. My, how times change. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you got something out of this. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help me grow this channel. Thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time.